Thanks a lot, Zainab. This is an interesting question. I think the, the world support to Ukraine has been pretty much predominantly high on the agenda of every country. The EU has also made a remarkable contribution to the support of the Ukrainian government and the Ukrainian people to build their resilience and to ensure that they are able to respond to the consequences of this war. In any war, no support would be enough to ensure that the people have, uh, again, the, the basic needs and, and priorities addressed. But in that sense, uh, supporting the, I mean, the support coming from the EU, both in terms of the institutions and now most recently with the EU candidature, it helps Ukraine prepare for a better future, for a more resilient one. And it, it prepares also Ukraine to ensure that it upholds the human rights standards and the EU um, different agreements that they are respecting, whether the EU Green Deal or the EU Association Agreement that they had just before the war. Um, the work requires joining efforts at all levels and at all uh, institutions. And I believe as long as we continue showing the highest level of understanding and prioritization of the Ukrainian population needs and address their humanitarian priorities, we will definitely make an impact going forward. Thank you so much, Leon, for your question. Uh, the United Nations Development Program is actually engaged with the government of Ukraine, the people of Ukraine and all institutions from the get-go. Uh, we have been working in the country for long enough to understand the context and the needs of the priorities of the people. But from the beginning of the war, we have supported the government sustaining its functions in terms of crisis coordination and emergency re response. We've also work directly with the state emergency services and Ministry of Interior on the mine action angle to ensure that there is safe passage of uh, people back to their homes. And demining activities are actually supporting humanitarian distribution of, of support and, and activities. Uh, UNDP also supports the relocated businesses, the affected businesses. We work on availing uh, quick repairs for the infrastructure and some major public services to be restored for people to regain some normalcy. So the support spans around a lot of livelihood support, uh, livelihood activities, some quick economic recovery, if we can call it this way, quick repairs for infrastructure and for basic and social services. A lot of work also goes with the civil society organizations. They have made a remarkable I would say, uh, impact with the role they played in terms of availing direct support to the affected population in war-torn communities, but also in communities that were hosting a large number of displaced populations. So in that sense, UNDP is standing pretty much from the get-go with the government, with the people, with the institutions, and with the private sector to ensure that the Ukrainians continue to have a dignified life. Thank you, Jakob, for this very important questions. question. Uh, Moldova is a small country with a big heart. This is our slogan these days, because Moldova has been receiving the highest number of uh, refugees per capita. And more so, Moldova has been receiving those refugees in their homes. So the majority of the refugees are actually hosted in Moldovan homes with Moldovan families, and that's a real showcase of solidarity and of um, uh, human solidarity of the Moldovans with their neighbors. So we cannot but be proud of the Moldovan government and community for this hospitality, the accommodations, uh, uh, the support that has been provided, whether it's financial or moral or even uh, social, economic and at all levels. So uh, thank you for drawing the attention of, of uh, the audience on, on this very important questions and we are very proud of what Moldova has done so far.